Hi, my name is Mojo, some of you guys know me in the on so the video podcast. I was listening to this thing called Wheel Dead Radio on a website called Cards with his Free Captain. You know, um, I think you know who <laughs> those are obviously named after. Um, and these American guys, very passionate Spurs fans, and they had some um, interesting ideas about, you know, football. But one idea they came up, they spoke about, was we signed in Berbatov. I don't think we're going to sign him this season, but definitely sign him on a Bosman. Now, a friend of mine, Jeremy Conan, said, we, we said he would be against that, you know, signing both of back, to, you know, because of his attitude, you know, he refused to play, his attitude, you know, very, you know, he was very um, fractured in the relationship, you know, he would, um, you know, disrupt the dressing room, and, you know, I can't understand that. Another player that decided that he didn't want to play because his head wasn't right there was Luka Modric, and much as I love Luka, and I always will do, and if he continues to play for us, you know, I'll always love him, but... There will be that, like, called the Lana Turner paragraph. Great, 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 great. But, you know, this is what happened. And I think that's something that Berbatov will have. But if he comes back to us and he's firing goals and he's creating lovely assists and everything else, do you know what? You know, I don't think we'll even care. I don't think we'll, yeah, no one care. And my good friend, Miss P, you know, her guilty pleasure at enjoying Berbatov's performances will not be seen as guilty any, anymore. Uh, you know, she can enjoy count on count, you know, what scoring goals? One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. you know. I just think there's something about Berbatov. He's got excellent upper body strength. He can hold the ball up very well. He's got great technical skill. He has another pace and power of there in Adebayor, but when he, make, when he lacks pace and power, he makes him in much he's more clinical, much greater awareness of his players around him, and technical skill is, is amazing. And I think if we sign him in a Bosman and sign Demi out on, I don't know, 25 mil, then we've got, first of all, you've got two great players who can play together or play by themselves. You've got two game changers if we are playing one, the one up front. Both will work well with um, Van der Vaart because although Burst has got that sharing thing, you know, Van der Vaart scurries about so much like a Robbie Keane does. So he's got, you know, someone like, you know, to do, to do all that hard work. Um, and then also, like just in case with you know, sharing him, he's got that Van der Vaart can play those balls in for Klinsman, and hopefully you know he can make all those runs if he can't really hold the ball up that well as Winston Victory. And so I think that's a good all-round thing really. Um, the thing about and then added by your, he can decide you know what I can't I won't do the accent because I can't do it. And I, if I do a Nigerian accent, it'll be very very racist. But you know he can always say look I've got my chariot and Togo, I'm not taking a fake up. Fine. Back to the Baker. Where are you going to go? Man City down, won't you? Malaga, PSG. These are the only two clubs that can take you. You know? Would you want to go to Malaga? Who wouldn't? It's beautiful all year round. But, you would have been in the Champions League. Now, that didn't bother, you know, Ruben Van Hall's face, but, you know, I think he's at the end of his career. He's got one last big, huge payday. Out of the all, be 27, 28. Yeah, you've got, you know, this is the last we we'll say the major contract, but this is the last big playing contract of your, you know. And so you can go to PSG now, definitely go to PSG. And that will be, and obviously, speaking French, haven't played in the French league before, definitely. But could they pay 170 grand a week? That is a slow shed load of money, man. I, I know they're mega rich for the Qataris, but, dude, that's going to be a lot to ask. You know? And, you know, I think we've seen the likes of Beck and said, you know what, I'd rather stay in the US and play in League 1. Uh. And it's going to be, a, you know, I mean, let's face it, you can fork out some fun, but you want to be playing at the top level, and that's either La Liga or Premier League. And I think if we sign Berbatov and Damiao, then I think Adebayo might think, you know what, I wouldn't mind sticking around here. Obviously, I might take a pay cut, but I'm happy here, I'm doing well here. You know, I've got, you know, I'm in a very good side, I've got to play, I might be able to play like, along with a guy like Berbatov. I might get to play alongside a guy like Damiao, you know, who's got to compliment me. And all three strikers, individually, if we're just playing two, complement each other very well. All three strikers, if you're playing individually, play well with Rafa van der Bart. And the best thing is, you know, you can have either two strikers, you know, on the bench, you know, or van der Bart and, and say, another, another great striker on the bench. So we have two incredible game changers that we can just bring on. And how cool would that be? So that's, I think, if we can, yeah, and then they, 
Mm. He'll, he'll be on a free. He has to give him a good contract, but let's face it, I think we can pay him, I don't know, the 85 or 90 grand a, a, a week he's on, three years. And we've got an excellent player who, I think, in, you know, I think footballers are looking at ourselves a lot more better. Obviously, his style of play, that, you know, he's got hardly high energy, so his lack of pace or lack of movement around the pitch, or apparent movement anyway, isn't going to be a huge thing. Obviously, you know, and I think he's, at the big scheme of things, in terms of betrayal, or betrayal, you've got Benedict Arnold, so you've Audrey Kane, Benedict Arnold, Judas Iscariot, Sol Campbell, okay? You know, he, self-interest, you know, he got the chance, he won two league titles, played in the Champions League final, and let's face it, he was never going to do that with us, was he? Well, Juan Day, special Juan Day, wasn't, you know, playing some bizarre tactics, like, oh, I play the League King, not in the Premier League, which is my bread and butter, in Europa, or UEFA Cup, it was at the time. Oh, I thought, great, you know, we signed that wonderful player, that was David Bentley. Gareth Bale wasn't really the player he is now. It took him, what, another two more years to get that level? Um, or a year and a half, sorry. Benny wasn't that player he was, he is now. We had the great, Al, you know, with the great Alan Hutton, you know, obviously. Lady King was only playing once a week, if that. You know, we didn't really have, you know, really great centre backs, unless you count Ricardo Rocha. Did you count him? Was he still there? You know, we had the great players like, um, oh, who do we have? Oh, the wonderful, um, oh, the Ghetto Kid, Mr. Boateng. Um, you know, we didn't really have a great team, you know. And now, if he came into that team, we are so much better, you know. And I think the problem is, I think there is still in this session, when you have one player that obviously knows he's so much better than all the others. Apart from Ledley King, he knew he was a lot better than all the other players that we had there. Now, that isn't the same case. You know, Man United, you know, they stupidly tried to choose not to resign him, which I think is stupid, but they choose not to resign him. You'll think, well, wait, you know what? I'll go to a club that does want me. That is going to prepare to give me that contract length I want. This is, uh, that's just my feeling on the matter. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, we'll give a big shout out to Jeremy Kinsella. Great guy, Jed. Always makes you smile. Um, yeah, if you go to Spurs for the UK, he's a fan of Kane and he's a great guy. Always also check out topspurs.com, uh, THC 1882, and um, Spurs Odyssey. And Culture Captain. They do have some decent articles on there sometimes. Anyway, hope, you know, here's us beating the shitty. Here's to taking the max up the shitty tomorrow. Come on, you Spurs.